Hey, what is going on, you guys? It is Mr. No Sleep here from Old School RuneScape, and welcome to a brand new loot video for you all today. So today, at long last, I bring you guys loot from 10 hours of Temporos, and the goal is to get as many rolls as possible. Hopefully obtain the pet, because I gotta be honest, after looking at it, it is definitely one of my favorite uh, pets in the game, and also make as much money as possible. Now, for my very first game that I tried, I did get five rewards permits. I had never done this before, so I figured I would do one practice run, and that was when I unlocked Spirit Flakes as a drop, so those are going to be talked about later on. And yeah, you know, never really doing this before, only seeing one video on it. I virtually had no idea what I was doing, but after watching a quick guide and doing one practice game, I kind of had the idea. And most of this video is really just the reward pool searching, since anyone who's ever done Temporos before definitely knows, you know, it's, it's always basically the same thing, just game after game. And so I'll talk a little bit about the method that I did. Uh, my inventory was a hammer, a rope, and uh, three buckets of water. You don't need that small fishing net. Again, I was uh, just practicing at this point. And so what I would do is whenever the Temporos game would start, I would simply fish seven fish, and then I would cook them. And then I would wait for the double fish spot to spawn. And then I would use that spot after I cooked my seven to get a full inventory. Once I got a full inventory, I would cook all of them. And then once I would have a full inventory of cooked fish, I would go up to the cannon and pretty much just shoot them all at Temporos. And I would repeat this uh, for, you know, as long as it took for Temporos to die. And that was basically my method. I mean, it's just the same thing over and over again. And I will be completely honest, I was averaging about four to five to six permits every single game throughout this whole video. Now, I would consider that okay, maybe even good. Certainly not great, though. And by all means, this is not a Temporos guide. So if you guys do find this interesting, thing and you want to try it out for yourself yeah just do a quick little youtube search and there is excellent solo guides and group guides out there and that'll teach you it right away i mean believe me i am one of the slowest learners uh, upon all things even in runescape the one game the only game i've ever really played so if i can get the hang of it i definitely know you can too now as someone who is just trying out temporos for the first time uh this video did take me about two days to do five hours one day and five hours the next day i was also on my iron man the whole time there is certainly some points when you're doing this mini game where it is a little bit AFK. Um, other times, you know, storms roll in and there's always a specific time that that happens. So you can kind of get ready for it. And, you know, you do have to pay a little bit of attention there. And also there are fires that do spawn uh, occasionally and you have the option to throw water on them, get a little bit of points or just try your best to avoid them. One thing you should never avoid, though, is the drops that you receive. Um, two times during this 10 hour segment, I found a lot of loot on the ground. So I don't know why people don't I'll pick that up, but you know, free money for me. And also, I did have my public chat on friends 99% of this video just because I had to pay attention and I was on two accounts, so I really didn't have the luxury to respond to anyone. I was not being arrogant, I just wanted to put that out there. If you said something to me and I did not respond, that is why. And yet again, uh, as I reached 200 permits, uh, you know, averaging about six minutes a game, I did find another loot pile in a random place this time, and I did get a little 200k from that, so that was pretty cool. God, it's, I don't know if it's sad that a maxed account like myself is picking up random stuff on the ground, but hey, someone's got to pick it up. So anyways, getting back to Temporos, I think the best thing about it is no doubt the drops that you can receive. The tackle box is one in 400, and, uh, you know, it's essentially a holder for all of the things that you can pretty much relate to with fishing. You can store angler in there, you can store flippers in there, you can store harpoons, bait, and uh, it's very useful. So that's one of the best rewards you can get, one of the most useful ones, I should say. And then, of course, we have the Tome of Water. One in 1,600 to receive that. Now, it's not exactly the best thing to get here. It's not too useful, but I guess it's cool that they added it into the game. And, of course, Spirit Flakes, which they are used in fishing, and they give a 50% chance of yielding a double catch, um, excluding Temporos. But they are very useful at anglerfish, and they can definitely net you a lot more profit while fishing. Alongside that, we have the Fish Barrel, and this is able to store a combined of 28 raw fish. So, essentially, you can fish a full anglerfish inventory and then bank it with one click into your barrel or they'll just go in there right away and then you can get another full inventory before you go bank. So no doubt the best thing about Temporos is all of those drops that I just mentioned if you're lucky enough to receive them. Will I be lucky enough to receive any of that? Well ladies and gentlemen this 10 hours is already completed. 95 kill count and 434 rewards total. And I also forgot to mention that you can also save up those spirit flakes and if you manage
manage to get thousands upon thousands of them, you can create Spirit Angler, which is another form of normal angler. It just looks um, a little different, and it is also useful for Temporos. And ladies and gentlemen, here is the Tome of Water. Not exactly the first rare that I wanted to see, but it is a rare nonetheless, so I will take it. And you guys also might notice that golden casket there. It looks pretty cool if you ask me, and that is a 1 in 20. These caskets essentially hold rune pieces, a lot of jewelry, and some gems, and a possibility of clue scrolls. So I will definitely open up all of those caskets at the end, add to whatever loot we do receive from Temporos. But overall, I gotta say, I really did enjoy this it did take me a while to kind of get used to the rhythm of it and um, I feel like that's with everyone though it's certainly a unique mini game and I don't know really know why it took me so long to try this one out I kind of feel the same with Guardians of the Rift you know I've only done a little bit of that and I really enjoy it but I haven't made a video of it yet so I'm trying new things that I haven't done before it's kind of what's uh, brought back a lot of motivation for me recently and yeah I really encourage you guys to check out Tempero simply because of the rewards I think that can benefit you so much uh, while fishing and of course you have the chance to get the pet which is 1 in 8,000 as well as a dragon harpoon which is 1 in 8,000 so you know don't really want that but it is 1 mil right now so that's good so alongside all the rares you guys are kind of getting a good idea of the normal drops here obviously it's a fishing mini game so you're going to get a bunch of raw fish and your fishing level does help you out with you know the better fish that you can receive the lower the fishing level the lower the fish the higher the level the higher the fish so we can expect a lot of manta rays swordfish. i mean you know the list goes on you guys can see it growing and growing every second that goes by here you can also get some soaked pages which are for your tome of fire or uh, tome of water excuse me me. Also, happy Halloween to you guys. I'm voiceovering this video 9 p.m. Halloween night. Kind of a dying holiday, you know, not the most exciting thing in the world, but uh, moving on from that, uh, you know, looking at the inventory, as you can see, just the tome so far, some soaked pages, really hoping that I see another rare shortly, but yeah, just nothing too crazy, 200 rewards left to go. This is also some pretty awesome fishing XP, I will be calculating all the fishing XP when we get to the price check, so we'll see how much XP I got in 10 hours time, I think I did reach level 100 fishing from this, so that's pretty cool. Fishing and thieving are my two lowest skills that I think are 99 a piece. Everything else is over 100, so I should be 100 fishing. If not, I'll be upset, but I'll probably go get that real quick and uh, maybe do a thieving video in the future, get that to 100. But also, I just want to say a huge thank you to you guys, huh? Continued support. I love it. The comment section is on fire. I love to see the positivity. I really do, man. It's just, it's so awesome to see, and uh, it's really motivating. Definitely a new sense of motivation these days, guys. You know, 10 hours of soloing bandos is going to be released tomorrow and I just gotta be honest it's a lot better than the Zamorak one it is incredible as a matter of fact and it's something that I never have really done before so another new thing coming on the channel tomorrow night 9 p.m or 10 p.m. depending on when I wake up. But yeah, it's going to be amazing. Hope you guys are looking forward to that. Anyways, we are below 100 rolls now. It's not looking too good. You know, some people get very lucky here, right? But other times you do have to invest a decent amount of time to get those everlasting fishing rewards that will benefit you forever, such as the barrel, the spirit flakes, and, you know, of course the list goes on. So hopefully I do receive that fish barrel. That's the number one thing I think uh, that you can get here. You can also get a big harpoon fish and, you know, all sorts of other things but I think that's the most useful thing, no doubt about it. But we definitely have over 4,000 flakes so far. Those will be coming in handy for whenever I decide to AFK fish. And with 10 rewards left, I got a good feeling, but it's not a great feeling. There is the tackle box. One in 400, so it looks like we were just on par with that. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. No pet, unfortunately, but that's okay. That is all right. Pretty much exactly 2 million GP from the Temporos side of the video. Um, this is without the casket loot, of course. So 2 mil and 10 hours, about 200k an hour profit. You certainly aren't going to be losing money here, so that is one good thing about it. And then we go ahead and we open up all of these caskets. I did run out of inventory space. I really didn't want to bank anything, so I just tried to bank the untradeables and uh, kept going with the caskets. And remember that loot in there was just the random stuff that I picked up on the ground. I don't see that happening too often here so don't get your hopes up you can't come loot here i wish you could though right that'd be incredible but no you really can't do that here and yeah this is pretty much all of the caskets opened up I really think these caskets are a great feature in the game, and especially in Temporos. They look really cool, and they actually have some pretty useful things in them, especially for Ironman accounts. 
And I did net myself just about 300k from all of those caskets. And I also did manage to get a hard clue scroll, which I was not expecting. So that is awesome. We'll go ahead and do that real quick. But yeah, overall, two rares and a bunch of spirit flakes, which will certainly come in handy. Overall, I did receive 670k fishing experience in 10 hours. So I was averaging about 67k an hour. Again, this can be more as well as the permits that you receive. It all depends on how good you are at temporos. I would say I'm slightly above average, maybe just average, but you know, look into some guides and try to maximize your efficiency here and that'll get you more XP and more rolls, depending of course on what you want, because you can go specifically for more XP or for more rolls, just depends on how you do it. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be it for this one. Um, I did kill hill giants the whole time on my Iron Man, so you guys are going to be seeing loot from 10,000 hill giants featuring Obor as well as 10 hours of solo bandos. You guys have have a video tomorrow night and the night after that and many many more to come after that i appreciate you guys watching and thank you so much for the feedback as always and until next time mr no sleep out